All right, so now we're going to look at the interquartile range. The interquartile range is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. So it's giving us the range for the middle 50% of our data. So we shorthand interquartile range as IQR, and it's found by taking Q3 minus Q1. So let's go through an example where we're going to find the IQR. In order to find the IQR of a data set, first you need to find your three quartile values, Q1, Q2, and Q3. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine data values here. So I'm going to go ahead and find the median. I'm going to go ahead and just cross one out from each side until I'm left with one data value right here, number 17. That's my Q2. So now I'm going to look at all of the values below the median. So now in this case, I'm not going to include the number 17 because that is my actual median. So I'm just looking at these four numbers here. And then the median of these four numbers is going to be the middle of 10 and 16. So 10 plus 16 over 2 is going to give me Q3. And that's going to be my first quartile. Then I'm going to look at all of the numbers that are above the median. So this 17 through 21. Again, I'm not including the 17 because that was the second quartile. That data value itself was the second quartile. So now the median of this half of the data is going to be halfway between 19 and 20. So 19 plus 20 divided by 2 is 19.5, and that's my Q3. So then the IQR is going to be the difference between Q3 and Q1. So IQR equals Q3, which is 19.5, minus Q1, which is 13, and then actually perform that subtraction and we get an IQR of 6.5. So the middle 50% of our data has a range of 6.5. And that is the interquartile range.